Now, I started this particular condo was my first purchase and I opened it as a short-term rental on Valentine's Day 2013. When I first heard about it, I thought it was really interesting. I'd always wanted to operate a hotel, didn't have the means to open a hotel, and this kind of gave me a segue into having a hotel management company and or ownership in a hotel, but starting one room at a time. When I come through, I'm looking for things that they may have left behind that they would be looking for, you know, whatever I want to add into the lost and found, but, you know, occasionally I get a phone call and I have to FedEx things back to people. Also looking for damage and then just checking to see if they left me a nice note. What a great apartment. We've had an amazing time visiting Austin from New York and Chicago. Great place, enjoyed everything. Ryan, we loved Austin. We've been getting more international traffic. I've had people from Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Switzerland, and Finland. I think the licensing program is great. Obviously, it puts some stop guards, some measures in place to keep people from operating that don't necessarily follow the rules. The most common question that we get is, why is the city of Austin concerned about what I do at my property. And the answer to that is as long as you live within the city limits, you have to buy by the uh, current ordinances. No, they want to stay in a registered place. They don't want to stay in somebody's extra bedroom. So typically they're looking for something that is licensed and or uh, managed professionally. I found it to be very straightforward um, in communicating with the city. I dealt with Marcus Elliott at Code Compliance. He gave me a lot of guidance. Turning in a complete application is important because it helps you move through our licensing process quickly. The reason we have an influx of uh, applications currently is South by Southwest. Um, last year at this time we had a small increase, but due to the new licensing requirements under the current ordinance, we've seen a drastic increase in the number of applications. We accept similar spikes to occur at different time periods, maybe Formula One, Austin City Limits, and other events that have uh, recently been added, such as the X Games. Obviously at the rail yard we do STR3s. Throughout Austin, we have STR1 and STR2 licenses available. So now we have nine condos in the building that we rent and a few houses nearby. Um, and pretty much everything is staying busy every single weekend and we're starting to fill in the midweeks in between. I think uh, the program's been really fantastic. Obviously, we'll continue to fine tune things between owners and the city. Uh, but overall, I've been very impressed with the program and I'm glad that Austin adopted it. I hope that other cities will uh, come and look at Austin to do the same thing.